Welcome to beautiful and sunny northern Spain, where Jaguar flew me out to drive this, the 2015 Jaguar F-Type Coupe. The question, of course, is, is this car better than the Roadster? And that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. So I'm in the supercharged R, which is the top of the line F-Type, and I'm here with Greg Carlos from Motor Week. Say hi. I'm here, hello. He's doing <laughs> duty as my co-pilot. Uh, and this is the top of the line F-Type. So if you add it all up, it's about $99,000. If you get the carbon ceramic brakes, that's another $12,500. So you're at about $112,000. It's a little over my budget. Yes, yeah, I'm over my budget too. But I will too. say the carbon ceramic brakes are pretty well worth it. Yes, especially if you're going to use it on the track, right? Otherwise, a back end would have swapped with us. We would have gone the other way. <laughs> break, break harder for this one. Break harder, and then turn in. There goes the back end. <laughs> a little inadvertent drifting there, and now we just get on the power again on the back straight, or is this the main straight? Yes. Main straight. That's 200k. Car still accelerating. 240k. Here comes 260k. We hit the brakes really hard here. Really get into those carbon brakes. Those ceramic brakes are incredible. Oh my God. We have a set of standards that we apply to um, brakes, not only from a performance point of view, but also from a pedal feel and refinement. So we applied the same principles to the carbon ceramic brakes as we do our steel brakes. Secondly, um, we're the only uh, OEM that actually has the discs bedded on a dynamometer before they're shipped to us and we build them into the car. We had the car on the track the other day and now we've got it on the road. I have to say I'm impressed at how, uh, how quiet it is. It, one of these cars where uh, if you get the convertible version, there's a lot of wind noise, there's a lot of road noise. Um, and this one is much more livable. There are three engine choices in the new F-Type Coupe. This is a supercharged six that puts out 380 horsepower. The top of the line model, that is the supercharged V8 with 550 horsepower. And the great thing about all three engines is they all sound terrific. The six screams and the eight growls. Um, compared to the uh, V8, there's a, there's a, a different, uh, the, the convertible V8, sorry, okay. there's a different um, uh, torque converter um, that behaves, um, uh, that deals with the performance basically of the engine. There's 680 meet, newton meters of torque, I'm not sure what that is in pounds feet, but you can figure it out. Uh, and we have um, uh, an active differential on this car as well. That's from inside. 
Uh, and it may even be better when you lift off the throttle and you get those snaps and those pops. Yeah, yeah, and we don't have it in the uh, kind of the more aggressive mode. There's a little switch here that you toggle down and it puts it into, I don't know, race mode or sport mode and all of a sudden it opens up the baffles in the exhaust, it stiffens up the suspension, it firms up the steering, it makes it a much more um, uh, sharper knife in the drawer. Uh, and there you go. It's a much, much different car. Who doesn't like that sound? The F-Type competes with cars like the Mercedes-Benz SL, the Porsche 911, the Porsche Cayman, and in my mind, even the Chevy Corvette. Of course, what sets us apart from all those cars is style. I mean, look at this. It's sex on wheels. There's no other way to say it. And you know what's crazy about this car, uh, Greg? I would bet that like five or ten years ago, if you had a car with 550 horsepower, it would almost be undrivable, right? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's just too much power for pretty much any chassis at that point, but this one seems to handle it extremely well. Yeah, and it, part of that is, of course, the 20-inch wheels. 20-inch wheels help. Uh, makes it ride a little bit rough, but it's definitely not unbearable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, all the electronics, right? We have stability control, traction control. All those ponies are being kind of harnessed with all the electronics in this car because if they weren't you'd be uh, you'd be all over the road. <laughs> exactly. So torque vectoring by braking um, it's uh, uh, a system whereby if you enter into a corner and uh, say in slippery conditions and the car starts to understeer so it takes a wider path than you would expect um, the system will apply the inside brakes so the front and the rear brake and it will pull the trajectory of the car back online and it, clearly it's not something you can do um, by only applying brakes on one side of the car but it will just pull the car back in and keep it online. Five hundred and fifty horsepower and over five hundred pounds for the torque. That's a lot of ponies to keep in the stable and to do that you need some serious technology and the F-Type has it. It's called torque vectoring by brake and what the car does is when I'm going around this turn in order to keep me going around the turn and not straight into this wall it'll break the inside wheels bringing the car around and when you're really flogging it like I am right now you can really feel the car working there right there I just felt it you can really tell that it's going where I'm trying to point it and not necessarily where my skill might take it which is unfortunately into this rocky wall oh yeah now this is what I'm talking about it's a really really fun car to drive and let's face it when you're spending this kind of money you're spending it because you want sex appeal which this car has yep and then of course you want performance and this car certainly has that as well my only question of course is which would I get would I get the convertible or would I get the coupe and uh, Jaguar says this is 80% stiffer it stretches right from here to the very back of the car and that's one single piece of aluminium so you imagine the blank size is pretty huge uh, and then that that single blank is pressed in a series of press tools uh, to deliver the shape and form that you see <laughs> Stiffness is a good thing, especially when it comes to flogging the car around like I'm doing right now in these twisties. It just lets you be much more precise. It lets you point the wheels and put them where you want them. Um, and so if you're looking for kind of the trackable, it's the one to get. But if you're looking for the one where you kind of go cruising on a Sunday afternoon, maybe the convertible is better. The interior to the coupe version of the F-Type is elegant, stylish, and identical to the convertible. It makes you feel special. In fact, it makes you feel like a rock star, especially when you hit the button. Listen to this. <laughs> yeah, and I think if you are going to go with the coupe, and we've talked about this a couple of times, uh, you almost need that glass roof so you can see out of it. It seems, it seems a little bit 
and close and a little bit tight in here without the roof because you're not getting any sunlight in through the top. So. Yeah, that's a really good point. I mean, this is, this is we're both pretty tall and um, it, it is kind of claustrophobic. only niggle and this is this is a small one but it's a valid one I think is that you can get a Corvette for starting at about fifty two fifty three thousand dollars and that has everything this car has sex appeal speed uh, and it's a lot cheaper and let's face it this is 112 if you had the ceramic carbon brakes and a Corvette will start at fifty thousand dollars less for the V8 I mean at sixty six thousand which is where the six cylinder starts you're not getting that American V8 rumble so the question really is, you know, do you want American V8 muscle or do you want European style and panache? All right, guys, I'm on the racetrack on the straightaway, zero to 60 in the F-Type, the supercharged six cylinder with 380 horsepower. I'm going to give it a little bit of juice, and there it goes, launch control engaged, ah, and there it is, 60, oh, <laughs> you won't believe it, check it out, 4.92, 4.92, now that is very fast indeed, very fast indeed. <laughs> there is that prestige that comes along with the Jaguar. Um, there will be a lot of Corvettes on the road, uh, you can guarantee that, uh, but not nearly as many uh, Jaguars. So if you want people to double take when they see you, I mean, and you have the money, then Jaguar might be the way to go. The TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it, I'm gonna give it an I don't know, and that's because I've only driven this car for a few hours and it's not fair to you or to Jaguar to rate the car after a short time behind the wheel. As always, this is Roman, Reporting for the Fastlane Car, check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and reviews. And I've got more Jaguars to drive. See you later. Welcome to sunny and very windy Spain, where Jaguar flew me down here to test drive the brand new F-Type Coupe, or do you say Coupe? We're going to take it on the road, we're going to take it on the track, and that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. <laughs>